Today's the day that I'm hoping is going to be the day that we actually solve the case of the missing bridesmaid, Marty Evans, who went missing 30 years ago. Now our final destination is supposed to be the Hong Kong restaurant that night after a wedding party. Now Marty was still in her bridesmaid's dress and I, I want to say around 10 p.m. over in Napa, she stopped at the gas station, borrowed some money, had four dollars to her name uh, so she could get some gas money to end up meeting up with some friends over here in Astoria, Oregon. Let me bring you in as to where uh, Scott and I, we've already done some searching. So let me first bring you up to speed as to where Marty was at was way over here in Napa. You know, we were told that she left the gas station with $4 in gas and that her intention was to make it to Astoria. Now remember, 30 years ago, gas, you know, went a little bit further, so she would have been able to make it to Hong Kong. However, she never made it that night. And so part of my theory and Scott's theory at first was, well, maybe uh, Marty just ended up making it back down towards uh, mom's house. Knowing that Marty had already gone to mom's house twice that day, we're thinking, hey, maybe she didn't go to Astoria, to the Hong Kong restaurant, because it's getting late, frustrated. She was on the payphone earlier that evening with a uh, ex-boyfriend or a boyfriend, ex-husband, and mom's house is down over here on Rudent Road. Uh, Scott and I, we searched this entire slough because we believe that, hey, if she had a little bit too much to drink that night, she could have easily gone off into the slough here. And the only thing that our sonar ended up hitting on was actually right in here where this dock kind of stops. In fact, you can kind of see it a little bit, but anyway, there was a old dock that we ended up finding in here. So that one was a bust and no Marty in there. Now the thing with this also is to keep in mind this slough and this road 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, was actually raised up about 10 feet. So we do have a theory that, hey, maybe with the slough being raised, some additional road fill could have covered up the truck. I'm hoping that that's not the case. I'm hoping that we still have Marty somewhere out there and we're gonna, going to be able to uh, find her. Now, if we come back, another section that I would like to hit is Marty always took this road and this route right here. But I have another theory is, first of all, we've never searched this area here. What if Marty ended up going in, you know, as she came across the bridge here? So then that brings me back to, well, there's an old Napa dock that used to be out here. And the only reason why she would have gone out here, it was just out of depression, frustration. I don't have an actual hard answer on that one, but this is a spot that's worth searching today as well. Are there any locations where there might be a creek or a body of water that she was able to make it in and just nobody's seen that over the years that we need to search? The only one that's really large enough that I've seen along the route is going to be the John Day Slough, which is, as we come around here, we have a corner here, so this has never been searched. We also have the bridge here. Now, I believe that I've been told that the bridge was a little different back in the day. So with that, was there, I don't know how it came in, and I don't know how the bridge was actually situated, but could she have gone over the bridge right here? And that's really the only other body of water along the way that Marty could have ended up in, that I, that I see, that I'm aware of. So with that, I know that was a lot to take in. The frustration is, how come she hasn't been found in 30 years? There's a couple of other theories. Um, in fact, we'll talk about those theories throughout the day. Let's um, leave the Hong Kong restaurant here, start heading towards Brownsmead, Napa, and see if we can find Marty today. So far, just a lot of uh, sunken boats, underwater treasures. Uh, we're gonna head up here to, there was nothing underneath the bridge, so we're gonna head up here to where this the road intersects with the lake, or with the river right here. 
See, there was a no guardrail 30 years ago, so maybe just by chance came around that corner, coming from this direction to this direction, and missed the corner maybe? You never know, that's why we're out here checking it out. All right, so once we get here, that's probably a good 75 feet, so I mean, she would really have to be rolling through there. I'm not expecting anything big in this section. That leaves one more spot which uh, we were able to check off of our list. Uh, I'm almost thinking, are some of these Jill House rumors maybe true? And one of those rumors is, did her ex-husband end up uh, burying her? Was it her ex-husband? Uh, boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend? -ex I don't know. Supposedly there's three reservoirs not too far from the mom's house at, up out of Napa. And with those three reservoirs, the rumor is, is that Heading to the second one, there was construction going on at the time, and the ex-husband supposedly had access to the equipment, something, something, I don't know the full story on it, and that she may be buried underneath the road up there. We need some ground penetrating sonar for that one. So if you happen to have any ground penetrating sonar and you want to donate your time and your services, it's beyond a locked gate right now, so we'd have to gain access, or just go in uh, covert late at night and uh, make it happen. I don't know how much uh, road there is to actually scan up there. Now we want to give a big shout out to today's episode sponsor. Actually sponsors, we have Scout Inflatables. They have two different size boats. This is the uh, 430, is a 14 footer. In addition to that, we have the Bixby motor. Now with the Bixby motor, you can use it as a little handheld scoop scoop motor, or you can throw it on a kayak, you can throw it on a raft, you can throw it on a boat stand up paddleboard so many uses for that little guy 11 pounds only is all that thing weighs now the boat the scout and flat inflatable boat i like i cannot say enough about this because i travel all over i throw that boat in the back of the trailer whip it out whenever i need to with so many attachments the little sunshade nice little mounting plate 360 sonar for the hummingbird we got a cup holder foldable seat the attachments for this thing limitless the number one thing that i really love about this is the stability of the boat like we as divers getting in and out of this thing with our gear without our gear getting inside of it wet it doesn't matter anyway check out scout inflatables as well as bixby in the link down below go show them some love and support as they're out here supporting us So the uh, location that we're at now, Napa Dock Road is what this location is. And with it, it used to be what was called the Napa Docks here. Well, over the past years, from what I understand, they're actually taking the docks out for liability and safety reasons. Now I have heard that they have pulled cars out of here in the past and this has been a good dumping ground. So as such, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick little scan here. Shouldn't take us more than, once we get the boat in, maybe 10, 15 minutes clear this entire area now there's a little bit of a tide that comes in here not much of a river so it really doesn't run much even with floods with uh, vehicles once they go in they can float for up to 10 minutes and they usually you know once they settle in they like get stuck they don't move doesn't matter what the floods are or anything else over the years they're not going to move at that time anyway let's get the boat in and we will see what we actually have in this area so fingers crossed we'll have a, an answer here off we go. Let's find us a pickup truck. You know, I did have somebody comment the other day, says, you know what? Why don't you show everything? Well, because everything is like a whole bunch of nothing. That's why we don't show everything. So here's a good example of how good the sonar is. If you look right there, see the tire? So if there's a vehicle in here, we're going to see a vehicle. No doubt about that. If we can see a tire, we're going to see a whole vehicle with four tires. Well, that is official. Another location is a bust, but still got plenty of daylight. Let's go find another location. Okay. 
Okay, so we have covered all the waterways between Napa and Astoria. We've covered the, covered the slough over by mom's house, and we have the last little slough that we have is gonna be like this bridge. Initially, I thought that, you know, from Google Maps, oh, well, hey, she could have gone off, you know, the guardrail, but I mean, that's an old bridge, that guardrail. I mean, somebody would have noticed that. So I'm really doubting that she is in the area of the bridge here, although I'm gonna check it. My last hunch that I have, and just the last body of water that we have to search, is actually the road that she hardly ever took, and that would be the immediate left coming off this bridge, that then takes you down to Jackson, and then Jackson makes a right, heads up to our Brownsmead Dyke Road, where she would take a left and go back over to Mom's house. So that's my last uh, little thought for the day. It's getting late, it's like almost six o'clock, and so I'm gonna search that, that side of it. For kicks, I'll go ahead and search this side on the way back. No reason she would have been over here, but maybe just over the years somebody else may have dumped something over here. They say we see what we want to see when you're doing sonar. And sometimes everything that you think that you see is what you think it is that you're after. Not sure why, but there's some doves swimming across the river here. I don't know where they came from, what they're doing. You're almost there. Keep going. Next time wear a life jacket, all right, buddy? But where we're at on this one is, I'm gonna say that we as divers, with sonar equipment and to the best of our abilities for what we're able to do, water related, from Napa to Astoria. I can't say that there's any other location that we we could actually be looking. You know, we checked the uh, dike road here, we checked the other dike road on the way to mom's house, we did the Napa dock, we did the John Day slough. Um, there's just no other path that evening that she would have taken that I'm aware of that she would have ended up in the water. So unfortunately, I think that, you know, maybe some of these other rumors are true. Did the truck end up on a crab boat and taken two miles out to sea and dumped by, you know, a scorned X? Did she end up buried, you know, 10 feet below, you know, an old construction logging road up by the reservoir? Um, that one we could actually check if we had, like I said, we had ground penetrating sonar. But Unfortunately, you know, our search is going to end on this one. I will have no more updates on Marty, the missing bridesmaid, unfortunately. I wish that I could have brought in a resolution and closure for the family. Uh, you know, mom is aging. You know, she would love to have answers. This, you know, sister and the family, uh, you know, the other siblings would love to know, hey, where's, where's Marty? And be able to bring her home and, you know, put her to rest. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, we put in a really good search, really good effort on this one and she's still out there somewhere. I don't know where, like I said, in the ocean, under logging road. If you guys have any other ideas where she might be that's water related, you know, feel free to uh, reach out, let me know. Uh, my email is always in the description of all these videos. I do feel beat down. Uh, like I said, I, I would love to solve this one, but unfortunately, I don't think that uh, it's in the cards for us. On that note, Thanks for watching another episode. If you have not already done so, be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification because you never know what it is that we're going to do next. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks again. Later, later. Bye-bye.